brought to the brink by mink. At the height of the coronavirus pandemic, the Danish government ordered the country's 17 million mink be culled amid fears a COVID-19 mutation could jump from the animals to humans. The decision destroyed Denmark's mink farming industry and the livelihoods of those who worked in it. I went back to my husband and said to him, they're closing us down. All our breeders, all our animals are going down. And as I tell you this, I can feel it in my body. You know, I'm starting shaking. I can feel that I'm out of breath. And, um, and it was so terrible. An inquiry has since found the cull lacked legal justification and grossly misleading statements have been made in ordering it. This prompted one of the smaller parties propping up the government to withdraw its support, forcing the Prime Minister to call an early election. It is of course peculiar to have a general election in the middle of an international security, energy and economic crisis. But nevertheless, this is what's wanted from a majority in the parliament. Fredriksen became Denmark's youngest prime minister when she took office at age 41. Recent polling shows support for the parties in her centre-left bloc is sitting at 47%. Close on its heels is the centre-right bloc with 41% support. It's put forward two candidates for prime minister, Jakob Ellemann Jensen, the leader of Denmark's Liberal Party, and Søren Pate Poulsen, the leader of the Conservative People's Party. But it may be the former Prime Minister, Lars Luka Rasmussen, who holds the balance of power. His new moderate party has not indicated which side it will support and is likely to have a strong influence in who eventually forms government. There's an energy crisis, there's an inflation, we have the war in Ukraine. So people are looking for someone who actually they maybe know, but also some a, a, a party that is more in the middle of the spectrum. When it comes to policy, international attention has been focused on the fact that all the main parties on both the left and the right want asylum seekers to be processed offshore in Rwanda. But polling shows Danes themselves are more concerned about issues closer to home, the cost of living, health care and the environment. Sarah Morris, TRT World.